Right, hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. Um, it's right in here, I believe. Uh, last time I got back in, got sidetracked, got distracted, got confused, but that's okay. We're heading back, um, sorry, we headed back to Balmora and Caldera and uh, Aldrun as well. Basically just to check back up on the main quest. And now we're heading to Narmok, I think. If I can just check. Narmok, yep. Which is this way. Um So Yeah, I was talking about this a little last episode. Um one of the things near Replicant finally came out. Uh, hello, who are you? Oh, I know who you are. I wonder if I could just kill you. Ooh, expensive gloves. And a ro What? You were loaded! Yeah, all right. See, she would have held out on me. She wouldn't have given me all of her expensive gloves and clothes and things. Let's try it on. Oh, wow. Fancy. But Near Replicant came out, and it has a combo system closer to its uh, sibling, Near Automata. Um, Mangar. Margan. <laughs> Dilsexy is a bitch, y'all. Dyslexia. It's the joke. Anyway, um... So yeah, it's really I really do enjoy seeing games that have, you know, stylish action or character action movesets and controls, but also have an open world system and setting. I really, really love that. And unfortunately, the only three games that I can think of that are like that is Near Automata. Which I probably will play for the channel at some point. But it kind of has been done to death. There's been quite a lot of talk about Nier. And there should be. It's good, but, you know. Only so much can be said about any one game. Uh, Nier Replicant, which is a remake of the original Nier, which I have already played. Granted, I didn't 100% it, which is the way to get all the story. And also, I did so years ago. But it is a remake of a game. No matter which way you cut it. I also know that there is new content. And I have been told that I should play it. Even if I did, you know... Even if I didn't like the original Nier, I should play the Replicant remake. Um... I have it on good authority that I should even. But I don't know. And then Dragon's Dogma. Whoa. Do you see that on the inside of the shield? There's like little notches. Is that for like people you've killed, hits you've blocked? That's cool. What an interesting detail. Oh, I know who you are. This is a random NPC that can show up. You'll speak with me now. Or you'll feel the bite of my axe when this enchantment wears off. This in deep raid will share, shed some blood. 
Standing is not the correct term. He's rooted to the spot. The ice cap. So let's... Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, it, it's fine. Well, I look a little dumb. Fourteen versus seven. That's better. I was able to cast a spell on the barbarian to cure his disease. I sure was. Anyway, yeah, you'll find a bunch of NPCs placed throughout this game. I'm not sure if they're randomly generated or what. But they have, uh, they're all Nords who have had their clothes taken, usually by a witch. Come on now. My god. What if I drag it over to you? Will you help me? There we go. What do you say, Liz? I have a shipment of fine clothing. But other business draws me away. If you deliver the shirts to the clothier in Aldrin, I will pay. She will pay. Yeah, whatever. This scent is new. <laughs> Alright, when I get back to Aldrin, I guess I'll do that. I like how he was wearing one and he gave me the shirt off of his back. Uh, Narmok, there we go. Perfect. So yeah, I feel like part of... Because this game doesn't have the quest markers that Skyrim does, going off the road and going st in a straight line to your goal is way harder to do because you have to fix it in your mind. You have to fix the map in your mind. But some people don't like staying on the path. And I get that. It is a little... It feels a little safe to just like be like, yeah, I'm just going to stick to the path, you know? But where's the adventure in that? Well... There's still an adventure. It just, you know, it's a little weird. But anyway, yeah, so like, Dragon's Dogma is a very empty world that's kind of boring to play. And like, I do like the combat in Dragon's Dogma. I think the game is underrated. But man, it has a boring, empty world that is full of space and nothing else. There is so... There is such little to do in Dragon's Dogma. What happened here? You didn't kill that guy, did you? Because to me, that sounds kind of improbable. Dead Gwar. Oh, it's even tagged as Dead Gwar. Right. Restore fatigue doesn't actually make that much sense. Like, say a food had the effect of restoring hunger. Well, if it restores hunger, then what it should do is make you hungry. It restores 
hungry. You know? It's one of the things that I always like get to just thinking about in damn it, God damn it. text message. Uh, get to thinking about in like Minecraft or other like games with a, a hunger bar. I'm just like, what do you mean my hunger went up? I ate something. What? Hello? Come on, he's on such low health. Fine. Do it the old fashioned way. Um, where the hell am I? Oh, it's on a little island. It's here. Okay, so we have to swim there. This is a problem, actually. Um, my pool still isn't open, and I haven't been able to do anything swim-related in Morrowind. Oh, God. Oh, God. I literally just stuck my toe in the in the pool. Please. Just trying to level my axe skill, everyone. Fine. You've earned the right to be stabbed by my extremely strong dagger power. Oh, shit, shit. Breathe, Gleena. Ugh. God, imagine if you were just at a lake and a man-sized squoctopus... A squid octopus, if you will. Just, like, came up to you and started assaulting you. Fuck this island, man. Morrowind is so weird and freakish. I don't know why Drew never made an appearance again. You know, the Drift. The Drift. The big crab claw guys. Because, like, with Gwar and um, stuff like that, it makes sense why they only stay in Morrowind because they're large, you know, terrestrial creatures. They're land animals and presumably can't swim well enough to get off of Vardenfell onto the mainland to get, you know, to wherever they, they be. Okay, Kartag Point. So this is actually north of where I need to be, but I know where I am now. Hey, look at that. Oops, sun's getting real low in the sky. Narmok, there we are. Um, I mean, some of these things probably could have flown or drifted elsewhere. I know why cliff racers don't show up after Morrowind, because they were all murdered. But other than that, I'm not really sure as to why we never see some of these animals again. Arnim Manor. Oh, right. Um, I can actually take one of these, can't I? There we go. I totally forgot. Kaijit. One more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you tell me where... Hmm. Hmm. 
First time in Narmak, let me give you advice. Aren't used to visitors, we don't like what we aren't used to. We're racists. Don't be surprised if people don't like answering questions. You can't sleep in someone else's bed. Uh, let me see here. Talk to the locals, find the sixth health base. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's what they all call the old sea cave on the north end of the island near Kartek Point. Do I know you? Well, look at that. Can I find out anything about the sixth house? So I'm going to jump that. Oh, well. Let's go down to the lower level. And let's see if I can't get some supplies here. I see by your outfit, your affairs have prospered. Can I help you? Can you train me? Ooh, you can. Okay, I'm listening. Hit me again. Oh, we got more. All right. Weapons. Pretty standard stuff. Let me get rid of... Let's get rid of this. I'm honestly not going to use it. It sucks. Um, cloth bracer. Training. What do you got? Short blade. Damn. I guess it makes sense. My short blade skill is pretty high. Yeah. Not enough cash. Stranger. Wow. The sun sets quick here, huh? And Cariel. Services. Guild. Indeed, Rotheron's shack. I love how they live in what is explicitly called a shack. By the gods, you're half dead. You know what? That's true. See, so yeah, I guess we just have to head north and get the hell out of here. Uh, let me stop back in here, talk to you, because I have some clothes. Not these clothes, but... That's a good... What does this do? Oh, it's a thing. It's a casting thing. What have I got for money now? Can you train me anymore? Just athletics. Damn. Oh, how pleasant. I like that. All right. Heading north. Heading northward. So yeah, Cartag Point. And then we're going to have to run around there looking for where the hell I'm supposed to go. Il Nabuni. Il Il Ilnbin. And yeah, that'll be uh the next big side quest, I think. Or main quest, rather. Yeah, we're on the main quest, guys. Mud crab.
Wow, that was awesome. Is my marksman going to level? It is. It's so close. I was worried for a moment there, but turns out I'm ready to go. Huh. Carcass of the Saint, you say. Oops, let's just save. All right, let's be sure to remember that there has quite a way to get in here. Wow, what a steep drop. It keeps going down. Wow. There are a few, like, underground caves in, like, the Dongar DLC for Skyrim that are really scary for some reason. I don't know why, but some of the underground rivers and caves in that DLC just, like, spook me. Mood lighting, spooky red candles, all good, all good, I like it. Really dark, I can barely see any enemies. I'm gonna, one moment. I'm not gonna pause the recording. <laughs> I look like such an asshole. <laughs> I'm not going to turn this off. Sorry for anyone who relies on seeing me, but like, I look like such a douchebag just sitting in a completely black room with my camera on. Like, that's a normal human thing to do. You'll just have to imagine. See, I just pushed up my glasses. Ooh. Let it be known I have bad eyesight. So yeah, these are some of them old Corpus sufferers. Corpus is one of them diseases that gives you superpowers. even use um this is i guess it's not supposed to. you can get corpus in the process of this game and there is no real cure for it okay cool um there is one specific cure but let it be known that it is not exactly a easy to access deal um tainted marrow what a good name actually can i there we go kind of looks hideous How does that look on recording? Oh, you can't even see it on recording. Um, it only turns it up for me. Anyway, if, while infected with corpus, you... Oh, God, that's so ugly. Sorry, I don't even think anyone can understand what I'm talking about. Okay, that looks a little better. Sorry, Corpus. You can get infected with it. If you leave the infection on your character, if you leave it on your body, you can actually gain... I think you gain strength and lose intelligence. So it's bad for, like, a mage character, but it might actually be something I do. Ah, oh, there's another one there. I had no idea. Well, one moment, everyone. All right. Got back up. Wasn't too hard. 
NBD, no big deal. Though I think I've ended up down a different path than I went initially. Do a little save. Come on. Oh, geez, here we go, huh? Boy, I'm having quite the day. So, um, as you may have seen a few days ago, God, you're nowhere near me, dog. I'm pretty sure I've got a thing on this, don't I? I, what? Where did you come from? Hey, my short blade leveled up. Come on, hit him. Jeez, oh, Pete. Now, let me see if I can do more of this. Can't. What about you? Oh god, what's happened? Oh, Steam's restarting again. So yeah. This guy's called the Dreamer. Because of Vivek's... Vivek. Of Dagoth's whole thing with dreams and stuff. Right. Oh, this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Evasive. Where are you coming from, dude? Bro. My jink blade. There we go. Oh my god, he has reflect up. Of course. Okay, so we have killed that guy. That guy's coming in. So if I, I just use a regular dagger, then I'll do more damage to him because the magic part of it is getting reflected to me. Okay. Oh, come now. Be reasonable. Okay, that's one down. Where are you coming from every time, dog? Okay. The good news is that my short blade skills keep leveling up. Not to mention my armor skills. So one of the nice things about waiting is that it means that his spell will actually disappear and go away because he doesn't have... Because it just, it just runs out of charge, you know? It only lasts for so long. And he has to spend time re-upping the spell while I close in for the for the kill, you know? Hmm. 
Okay. Let me see if I can't... Oh, I'm done. This glass dagger is really working for me, so I want to keep this up. Is repair a thing? Main yeah, it's just armor. Right, now, when you killed me last time, a little creeper showed up and made a problem for me. Nice. So, yeah, Corpus Stalker. Guy has got Corpus literally coming out of his every orifice. Mar Marowak Spine. That's a Pokemon, everyone. Well, I know this is 2002. I think I've been saying 2001 the whole time. Whoops. I know that this was 2002, but come on, guys. Pokemon was still relatively well known, and Marowak's a Gen 1 poke. There we go. Oh, the weapon has no effect. That would actually mean that you would be a good enemy to... <laughs> Resisted magic, but he didn't resist this fucking knife. Alright, I wasn't able to finish going down here because I got jumped by a guy. I'll get my standard sword out. Glass dagger. I feel like in this game, more than any other game, I spend a lot of time with a dagger in my hand, like, just relying on it to get stuff done. <sighs> so, in the 90s, there were a bunch of different um, Western-made RPGs. Oh, this also leads to Marowak Spine. Okay, maybe this is the way forward, then. But I think this is... Maybe the only path I didn't check. Ugh. Big wad of corpus meat. Oh, that's appetizing. Il Nubi Blackened Heart. Interesting and gross. Ah, oh, two of them. Actually, this might not be so bad. Jesus, this thing is huge damage. Wow. That's very impressive. Uh, oh, Dead Adventurer. Iron Flame Blade. Very nice. Chain Coif. Lockpick and Probe. Here's your problem, man. You left your left bracer off. Left means that it goes on the left arm, not that you leave it off. <laughs> I certainly am a clever boy. What if Mega Man got a reboot in the same way that Doom did? By which I mean that Mega Man got a gritty, edgy 2016 reboot that was really fast and high tens and cool. Honestly, what I'm asking for is like a texture pack, like a Minecraft texture pack, but 
for Doom 2016. And it's a Mega Man. Because, like, the normal pistol, it shoots like crap, and it also has a charge shot. That's basically a Mega Buster, man, if you think about it. So, uh, here we can see what happens to victims of Corpus when they get a little... Ooh. Karen's be like, I don't need to wear a face mask. Actually, we're finally getting out of COVID, like, restrictions in my town. We've been here for over a year. I'm actually really jealous of my wife. Yep, it's a bone walker. Uh, the town that she's in is like an actual city instead of just a large town. Because the place that I'm in, like, we're a college town, but we're basically not a city. Just a large town. I mean, I've said that. It's hard to describe exactly what I mean, but you know when, like, all we really have is the is the college. We We have even multiple colleges, but, like, they don't really do much. Tainted Marrow... Have I gone in a big circle? No, just... Oh, of course, that's the other door. Carcass of the Saint. That's the entrance, isn't it? Sure is. So I guess the heart thing is the only thing that's left. Pardon me, sir. Just gonna strafe around you. Oh god, there's another one. It's a little scampus. This is an enchanted knife. I shouldn't be using that. There we go. Jeez, oh Pete. All right. I really love the naming convention of this place. Like, it's called Carcass of the Saint. When you get in, first you go into the marrow, and then the spine, and then the heart. Like, you're burrowing through what's left of a, you know, of a carcass, of a saint. So these little masks that these guys wear, I mean, they might actually just be their own, like, their fucked up faces. But, um, I think they're masks because Dagoth Ur, their master, wears masks. Um, I think the actual Vorin Dagoth, uh, Dagoth Ur as he was in life before he resurrected as this big monsterman, uh, I believe he wore a simple mask or face paint that gave the impression of of having three eyes. Dagoth Ur may or may not have three eyes, but um, also wears this large golden mask. Black and heart. So yeah, through the spine into the heart. Actually, I think the, like, levels you get for your stuff depends on how much damage you do. So maybe a bow that doesn't actually affect an enemy won't do that much, won't, like, help that much. Jeez. Jeez. Ha ha. All right. And again, Jeremy Soul, great job, but we're not doing anything cool. Or rather, we're doing something exciting. We shouldn't have, like, fun, wacky traveling music. 
I feel like this game could do with more tracks. Nice. That was pretty cool. And I think that this just should loop around to the other thing. Yeah. The one thing that I like about this is that, like, in Skyrim, you're guaranteed to do damage just because you hit someone. But in this, you're not exactly sure. You have to be a lot more strategic about it. Um, also, in Skyrim, just once you have the strongest fucking weapon, there's no reason to use anything else. You should just use that weapon and be done with it. But in this, I need to actually use an unenchanted weapon because otherwise my enchantment will rebound to me. I don't really think that that's a thing in, in Skyrim, but it's a cool mechanic. I think that's everything for here. Yeah. Where is this? Souls Rattle. Nice. Oh, hold on. So someone pointed out that the fact that uh, Nereverine puts the bow in his right hand should mean that he's left-handed. Because normally your dominant hand is the one with the arrow. Now I myself am cross dominant. Or no, I think I might just be regular ambidextrous. A point of order is I can use both hands for a lot of things. I think I'm ambidextrous because I can... Yeah, I can write with both hands. My right hand isn't as, as talented, but considering that my left hand does not have good handwriting to begin with, it's a... It's pretty fair, one way or another. Will you fall over, man? What the hell? Excuse me, sir. This is ridiculous. Just die. Jesus. The hell was that? So enemies being nearby can sometimes be a little arbitrary. Sometimes you should be closer to an enemy, but you can rest, and you should be further away, and you can't. Well, that looks friendly. The Six South greets you, Lord Nerevar, or Galena Pitchblend, as you call yourself. I'm known as Dagoth Garas, priest of this shrine and minister to Six House servants. My lord Dagoth Ur has informed me of your coming. I wish this time you would come to honor your lord's friendship, not betray it. Lord Dagoth gives me these words to say to you, so give him thought. Once we were friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar, in peace and in war. Yet beneath Red Mountain you struck me down as I guarded the treasure you bound me by oath to defend. But remembering our old friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. Lord Dagoth bids you come to Red Mountain. For the friendship and honor you once shared, he would grant you counsel and power. If you would pledge your friendship anew. I am not your Lord Dagoth, yet I too would say to you, Do you come with weapons to strike me down? Or would you put away your weapon and join me in friendship? Uh, hey guys. Can I... So let's... Oh, it rebounded on me, too. Well, I guess we'll just wait here and talk. So, yeah, you can see that he also has a really weird mask, as well as a very unique robe. Another one of you, huh? Well, 
With his dying breath, Dagoth Gyrus smiles and curses you. Even as my master wills, you shall come to him in flesh and of his will. Oops. Lord Nerevar Indoril, High Redzania, my lord, friend, and companion. Uh, this is what he says. So yeah, back in the olden days, Nerevar and Vorondagoth, the man, were both friends. Um, along with the tribunal, they also were all friends. Spoiled slow fall potion, huh? Fist of Randagulf. Fortify strength, 20 points. Um. Pog. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Iron Tower Shield. Iron Tonto. Belt, Pants. Another six house amulet. Bone Mode Pauldron. Common amulet. Wow, um, radical. I've killed Dagoth Gares, as the spymaster ordered. He cursed me, and I have corpus. I don't feel different, but the marks of the disease are plain on my face. I'll have to report to the spymaster and hope he knows how to cure me. So yeah, um, I was talking about there is a way that one can get corporate it's it's a story thing um however uh funnily enough you can actually get corpus uh earlier than this if you go to a specific place you can get corpus and it counts as the real corpus but because you're not at the same point in the story you'll just have the fucking disease and you'll die and i think you'll ruin your save file <laughs> Like, if you save with Corpus, I don't think you can get out of it. I think you just have to load an earlier save. Or hope that you can advance the main quest long enough to get out of it, you know? Which is cool. Um, so you can see that we've got Drain Attribute. Yeah, we've got Corporus. For Fortify, we were getting Strength and Endurance. One point each. But we're losing Intelligence, Willpower, and Personality. Now, we've just got these Gauntlets that give us a bunch more Strength. And I don't really need... Actually, I don't need to worry about you infecting me with Corpus, do I? I've got it. What does this do? Oh, it's just a staff, right. So you can see his health is generating. Luckily, fire will help with that. There's so much more variety in the enemies, I feel, in this game. Like, I don't really feel like that's the case in Skyrim. I really love enemies that almost work like a puzzle. 
Like trolls in Dungeons and Dragons, those guys are great. They're classic. For those who don't know, in Dungeons and Dragons, uh, trolls will regenerate a lot of their health, a significant amount of their health every turn. Um, and sometimes it is more than you can really burn through of their health, especially if you throw them at an underleveled party. Right. Got distracted, started using a thing again. Um, however, it'll be canceled out if you hit him with acid or with, uh, fire. Fire is more common. And I had the absolute delight of throwing the first troll at someone. Trolls are a classic meme in the D&D &D community because, like, by now everyone knows that you just hit a troll with fire to stop him from regenerating. And it becomes a joke, you know? You don't need to worry about a troll now. Like, no one worries about a troll because they're like, yeah, just hit him with fire. Duh. And, like, it's true, but your character shouldn't know that, should they? And, yeah, that's the issue for some people. They have a character that shouldn't necess necessarily know that a troll can be destroyed by fire. So they're like trying to find ways to figure it out in character or something stupid like that. However, a couple of years ago, I had the absolute delight. Um, Sarah, my wife, is a D&D newbie, as is my best friend, Robert, as is um, our mutual friend, Megan, whom I love. Uh, we all play D&D together. And I had the absolute chef's kiss delight of being able to throw a troll at them when they had never seen a troll before in the context of D&D. It was amazing. Because, like, everyone was... Like, people had to use their movement to, like, get around. Because normally... You play it, like, without a map. I mean, you... Not necessarily you as you, but, like, as you understand, a lot of people play D&D, &D, like, without a map. They just play it raw, as, as you would. But, like... They, like, had to draw a map to figure out where the troll was, and I would, like, move the little... The little... The, the die that was representing him. A dice, if you prefer. But the die. It's a die. Um... And, like, they were racing around the, like, around the little map. They were all on a boat, in fact. Uh, they were supposed to be de helping deliver cargo, but they got attacked by uh, pirate cultists, one of which included a troll. Uh, it was a great, great campaign. Um, afterwards, they asked to look at my notes, and they were like, where's the rest of it? And I was like, that's all the notes. I had lived it. And they were like, you What? So I felt really cool for that. Hey, all right. I got a level. Let me go turn the lights back on. Actually, let me turn my camera back on first, and then I'll turn on the lights. There we go. And I've been recording for 53 minutes. So yeah, I've got... Um, so I feel like some people don't like get this almost, but like... Corpus is like one of the worst things that can happen to you in Morrowind. And uh, I've just got it. So what am I doing? Well, first I'm heading to... Where am I going? Aldrin. Oh, 
god. Oh my god. Oh, and there's a fish too. Great. You know, I could actually do this off camera, so I will. But I won't cut the episode yet. Oh yeah, since I'm, I got a level. You've ascended to level 8. The secret does seem to be hard work, yes, but it's also a kind of blind passion and inspiration. And that's what I'm going with. Um, back to running. Hey, and I'm back again. Mostly because, uh, well, I spent a little time grinding, and I got a little thing that said your case of corpus has worsened. So now you can see that these all say two points. But the fortify is also up by two, two, uh, to two points. So, you know, in total it is two points, but it's it goes up by one every day. So, uh, yes, if you have very, very high strength, you can get it above 100, which is something you normally cannot do in the Elder Scrolls. Uh, in most video games, to be perfectly frank, you can't get your st stats above 100 or 99 or whatever they are for this game. God damn it, I'm getting turned around. Uh, however, with Corpus, you're able to do so. However, you can also drop your stats. And the thing is, you only get so many stats back, but you lose a lot more than you would get. As for how I've been grinding, I just find a... What the hell? Now let him hit me. So I've got 19 hit points. Drop to 18. So I can get hit 17 more times, but... Oh! Now there's more of them. So normally you would do this when you're at full health. Which I'm not. But now I am. So that's cool. So if I wanted to, I could just stop... You know, in the middle of a couple of enemies and just let them beat on me and it'll level up my armor. Uh, it'll decrease the armor's durability, but it will level up the armor itself. I kind of miss durability for items in the other scrolls. It made unarmored very viable because it meant that you could always rely on not having armor, as well as unarmed, for that fact. Um, it also meant that you could make melee stronger. Because eventually, like, no matter how good a sword is, eventually it'll break unless you take some steps to fix said weapon. That's not the case with other things. You know, I'm going to walk to the store today. I've just decided. I'm going to walk to the Dangles store. Um, and I'm going to pick up some stuff so I can have myself a good dinner. Yeah, you just wait here. You can even save. They can't do that much damage to me, and you can see that I'm at 64 for light armor. I'm at 67 now. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Hey, I got another level. Uh, I've also got quite an accompaniment of uh, fellas here. But they're really having trouble getting through me. So, you know, there's that. Hey, I did some more grinding, and I also got myself some dino nuggies. Um, and I also realized I can't go to the store because it's raining outside, and I don't want to be in that. Uh, so, you know. Also, I realized I didn't actually read this before pausing the recording. <clears throat> You've ascended to level 9. Everything you do is a bit easier, more instinctive, and more satisfying. It's as though you'd suddenly developed keen senses and instincts. So, we're adding to our strength. Adding to our endurance. Adding to our agility. So yeah. Alright, so something awful has happened. I have caught a blight adjacent disease. Black heart blight. It drains my stamina by 35 points and I'm down to 47. So. Gonna have to throw some away. Or, maybe I could take something. Yeah, I 
cut it off of one of these things. Yeah, the blighted rat. So that's real annoying. I'll probably walk to Aldrin off camera, then walk back. All right, got it fixed. I'm on my way back to Aldrin so I can drop off those things, but my corpus has gotten way worse. It's down, it's up to four. So yeah, I'm only getting essentially eight points, but I'm losing 16 total from all my stats. And granted, those stats aren't all equal to me in terms of how valuable they are. But they are still used, and unfortunately, speed is one of them. I think if your speed hits zero, you just can't walk anymore. Which means that I am some somewhat under a little pressure to get this thing going. Now, granted, I've got 70 days to fix it. Um... But yeah, I've really got to... I'm going to have to get the let out. Alright. Now let me figure out where these shirts are. Where am I supposed to go back? I'm supposed to go back to the Spy Master. That's Caius. Bivali... Teneran. Enemies are near... Can somebody get that? Thank you. I'm just a regular old wandering guy. He looks funny swinging at him with a torch in the other hand. Jeez. <sighs> you got corpus disease. That's a death sentence. It can't be cured. Get away from me. Far away. Manor district, which is in the north part of town under Scar. So yeah, people hate standing next to you if you've got Corpus. And I'm kind of making a problem of myself because I'm running around with a dangerous, dangerous disease that cannot be cured. Making a nuisance of myself coughing on people, you know? Here we go. Uh, Rasha's shirts. You bought the shirts from Rasha. He does such fine work and sells them to a reasonable price. Uh, he's a careful sort, but that's smart business. Thank you for your help. There's your payment. Now, what do you got for me? Apparel. Why am I surprised? Belt of Iron Will. I don't think I have a belt. Damn. I broke my shield while I was level grinding. You know, it's the Elder Scrolls. A lot of times, all you can do is just let an enemy bang on you for a little while. And hope they'll eventually level you up. Oh, yeah, I've been doing more work with this thing. Because my blunt weapon is actually pretty low, but it's um, leveling up pretty quick now. So that's cool. What do you sell? Oh, you repair things. Can I repair my... Oh, one GP for that. Thanks. That's great. Let's fix that, because I like it. Shield of Light. 111. I'll just buy a new shield, actually. Um, Here, I'll sell this to you. Oh, it's worth one. Great. I'll get my... Ooh, that's a good-looking helmet. I'm taking it. I don't care if it's worse stats. Could get myself a bone mode shield as well. Mold. And let's sell this spider dagger. Especially because I've got two of them. Jink blade. Net blade. The flame blade's good. What's this? 5 to 11. So this is just a damage health. Whereas this is just fire. Hmm. I'll take it. I'm waiting. A 
Oh yeah, let's get my new duds on. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Take that. And give me one of those. Look at that. If only you could die things in this game. So how do I... Yeah, look at that shield. I look pretty lit. Right, heading back to Caius. Uh, we'll, I'm pretty sure we'll get extra dialogue with What's-Her-Face back at the base, but I don't really need it. Does it show me... Oh, nine. I'm halfway to another level. But again, that's only if you level up your major or minor skills. Build the mages. Bishamp. All right. Caldera, I think, is good. I need to get to Balmora. Can you get me to Balmora, actually? Balmora, 20 gold. Thank you, sir. And there he is. Perfect. It's really weird because they almost feel like they stay in one place, but each town has its own Silt Strider guy. Uh, which you'd think doesn't actually make sense, but whatever, I guess. Because with a bus driver, you know, the bus driver goes to every single thing every single uh, stop on the on the path this isn't Caius's house duh I was thinking about bus drivers I've got a cool bus driver I've got a few of them hey dude that's disgusting you should leave before I lose it. fuck you the Dega car is dead. Six house shrine is no longer a threat. You've more than earned a promotion to the rank of traveler. More do you have a corpus, but I have some good news. I canvas my informants for possible treatments in case you contracted it during your mission. Learn from Fast Eddie your best chance of getting guild is from Dilo Fear. Devayeth Fear. Yes, yeah, in the right. An ancient Telvani wizard who runs a corpusarium for victims of the disease. Take this Dwemer artifact and a thousand drakes and go to Telfair. Uh. He'll like the Dwemer artifact. A gift may sweeten the disposition. The gold is for expensive. Here's a couple of levitation potions. You'll need them in the Telvani Towers because wizards don't use stairs. Get moving and get the disease cured and then hurry back. I think I know how to get the Lost Prophecies Nabani Mesa asked for. All right, now that I've got some money... The way that... I really want to mention how much I like the way that money is handed over in this game. The way that you get money in Skyrim is so mercenary. It's like, here's your cash. But, like, I don't like Caius, but the way that he's like, here's some money for expenses, and uh, be on your way. It's like, thank you. My frame rate's kind of chugging. Um, I guess I can do this off camera, but yeah, next time I'm going to go get more of my stuff uh, cured, but yeah, this has been Morrowind. So yeah, we've got an incurable disease. Um, it's part of the epidemic that's affecting all of this island. It's a big problem. So yeah, that's where Morrowind is right now. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Morrowind. Uh, thanks for coming by.